This is something I'm trying to say to a lot of beginner cyclists is that bike paths are extremely dangerous. Hey, that's yeah. Boom! As an elite road cyclist, most of my close calls happen on a bike path in the city where cars just literally forget about you, just cut you off, get out of driveways. I, I hate bike paths. Every time I get the chance to avoid them, I avoid it. I prefer to take a whole lane all to myself than being to a bike path. Because as a road cyclist, we go faster than moms and dads with kids on a bike. We can go easily around 30 an hour, sometimes 40, and you don't want to go 40 on a bike path. You don't even want to go 30 on a bike path. You want to go 20 or less. And there's this one bike path that the last three times I've been there, it's a one kilometer segment or maybe one or two kilometer segment, I've almost got ran over twice every single time. Cars just forget about you. They take their right turn, go into the gas station or to the shop or whatever. And I want to see, what if I do this segment for an hour straight, maybe like, I don't know, like five or six or 10 loops. I'm gonna gear up my camera and see how many times car will try to round me over. And to be sure that I will be seen today, I will be wearing this really bright orange and green jacket, bright orange backpack, so no excuses that, oh, I didn't see you. Uh, let's hope that we're gonna have some action today. Let's hope I can get out of it alive. And let's just hope that we have some fun riding our bikes on bike path on Sorry, dangerous bike path today. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so I just got to the start of the bike path and I will take out the 360 camera. All right, run number one with the 360. <laughs> it's so funny. It looks so high. I have a tailwind, so it's going pretty fast as well. All right, so I have priority here and... Uh, the light was green for me too. He had to slam the brakes because he was not expecting that bike path. Let's keep going. Now we have a pedestrian in the middle of the path. Not too sure where he's going to go. <laughs> we have a car here with the slasher. Easy, easy going, easy going, easy going. Hey, attention! That's exactly what I said. God damn. You never look on the bike path and we're at round number one. And we already have a car who got into the lane. All right, we are lock and loaded for round number two. Let's see how many cars caught me off now. I, I gotta be careful because there's a lot of gravel. And if I have to emergency stop, well, I might slip a little bit my wheel. There we go, not this grab. Never looked. Look at this one, look at this one. Ah. We have another close call. <laughs> ah, All right, we have another car coming. Is he gonna get into the bike path? Is he going? Is he going? And boom! Again! <laughs> Again! We're like at the fifth time now. The fifth close call. This is unreal. Now we have a car in the middle of the part, the bike lane. He's gonna go back off. He's gonna back off. He's not. It's up. And I have to stay so alert. I have my two hands on the brake, ready to engage. Man, this is so fun. Like, I've never wanted to be hit by a car this much in my whole life. Right now, I'm alert. I know what to do. I'm a, I'm a semi-professional, all right? Just gonna wait a bit for cars, because if there's no cars, there's no point, right? He's gonna back up, he's gonna back up. Good guy, merci. Wow, we have a nice guy. We finally have one nice guy. He realized his mistake and he fixed it before we hit the car bumper. So that is good news. I right, see a car who wants to go to Burger King. He's gonna cut me. Oh, okay, no, she did not go to Burger King. <laughs> All right, now I, I have priority. Is this car gonna cut me? Is this car gonna cut me? Fuck you. Here we go again. I had priority and she did not. I got forced to turn. I got forced to make a right turn. Otherwise I was going straight to the bumper or like to the window. All right, here, 
Alright, again, are they gonna cut me? This guy in the SUV. Yeah, and he did saw me. Thank you for looking at say a cyclist. Thank you. Alright, moving on. To be a Burger King. Is he gonna cut? Oh almost! Almost! I was close! <laughs> Alright guys, let's take a second in here to discuss what's going on. So first of all, I'm sure the shots with the Insta 360 are really good. Like you could see everything, all the angles. I'm stoked about that. Why in what 20 something minutes, six back and forth? I had over five close calls. So that means that if I wasn't an experienced cyclist, I would have get hit by a car. Just playing the role of someone, a beginner cyclist, someone who's new to the sport, this are the kind of close call they would experience almost every day onto this bike path. The thing is, bike paths like this are everywhere. So the the road, there's a sidewalk, bike path, and then a bunch of entries to malls and gas stations and um, so those are the most dangerous because when people get out of those parking lot, they do not look for the bike path, they look for the streets, they look if there's a car going left or right. The way to solve this is to bring the bike path into the street. So cars going out of shopping malls and gas station, they will move the, the nose of the car forward until the street and there when the bike path is there and to like paint it on the ground, I think that's the best. And with that said, let's just go for more close calls. And what I realized is that I thought all of the close calls will be going south, so one way, but turns out that cars that are going to this sort of one way to the right, they, do not, they only look to their left for cars. They do not look on the right for cyclists. So there's as much potential of accidents both ways. All right, now we have a pedestrian in the middle of the... Not looking. Not too sure where I should go here. I'm gonna go wide, because... Let's always be cool with pedestrians. We can like mess around with cars, but... Not pedestrians. They are weaker than us, we go faster, we have more weight, more mass. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? That was... That was... That was close, huh? That was scary. I had the, I had the van, and I had the buy the, the car. That was like double difficulty here, but. Ah. All right, guys. I really hope you love this experiment. It was really fun to do. Not too dangerous. Not too much. I mean, I was, I was on my guard the whole time. I was in the drops, or I was on the top, just ready to engage the brakes if anything was happening, and. I was really reading my environment and seeing cars coming from far away and seeing their flashers. So being aware of your surrounding while cycling is the key to be safe. You cannot expect cars to let you the way or you cannot expect cars to see you. You have to be seen and you have to anticipate all their moves. So with that being said, yes, cars are dicks sometimes, but be aware of, okay, this guy's gonna do this. Okay, if this guy turned, I'm gonna turn with him. Or if this guy does this and if he does that. So you can always be one step ahead of the next move. And I really learned this skill set of urban riding when I was riding fixed gear downtown. It was a bit stupid back then, but I was like going really fast in traffic, but it was like a game and you just get really used to expecting the unexpected yeah in 15 kilometers of back and forth on this bike path i've had about eight close called and two of them were extremely dangerous that's way too much that is way too much so the city of longue needs to do some thing to bring this bike path a little bit more safer all right guys this is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already i have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't have to miss out. Alright, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.